Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. In today's episode we're going to be showing you how to do a quick and easy color correction on your video footage. Especially if you've shot in a very flat or in a log picture profile and you see that when your footage comes straight out of camera it doesn't look that good, it's, it's sort of bland. But that's the whole idea of shooting in a flat or a log profile. So if you want to correct that color and have a balanced color spectrum in your video footage before you jump over to color grading your footage and giving it a specific look or a feel or an emotion to your video, then you first have to color correct it after it comes out of the camera. This is very easy to do and I'm going to show you in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. Okay, so when we jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, the very first thing we want to do is to open our Lumetri color scopes. Now if the color scopes are not appearing right here, then it's quick and easy to just click your window and then click Lumetri scopes and it'll open this panel for you. Now for the purpose of this exercise, I am going to drag this down a little bit so that we have a little better picture of this scope and of these scopes because I use all three of these scopes to make sure that my color is in check. And as you can see is this video footage that I shot of Fernando while we were doing his music video is very flat. Uh, it's a very flat profile. So we want to correct this profile and therefore we'll go into the Lumetri color on the right here. If you don't find Lumetri color over here then maybe you're not in the color tab. So you might want to jump over into the color tab to get the Lumetri color scopes over uh, color correction over here. So firstly what we can see is that the highlights are touching the top line which is 100 and 100 is pure white and then in the bottom pure black is zero and nothing is touching the zero line. So you can also see that here in the middle between about 40 and 70 the main bunch of our Lumetri scope color profile is laying right here. And that's not what we want. We want to stretch this out over the full spectrum so that our picture can look perfect. The easiest way to do this is to start with your contrast. And the reason you start with contrast is because if you move the contrast around, your footage is now increasing in highlights and in shadows. So it's creating more contrast between the highlights and the shadows. And once this is done, you can always go to your highlights and which is this portion over here that is your highlights and when we stretch out the highlights a little bit you'll see that portion increasing quite a bit. Then we want to move down to the shadows which is in this bottom portion of your Lumetri scope and we will just tweak the shadows a little bit and decrease them so that the bottom part of the Lumetri scope can move down a little bit and if you want to change the whites you can but not in every instance does this work. For the sake of this uh, tutorial I think it'll look nice if this photo frame and this uh, light switch is pretty white so I will increase the whites just a wee bit but be careful of not crushing out your pure whites over here in the 100 line. Then lastly we go to the blacks and we'll move the blacks just a little bit down and you see as soon as it starts touching the line you are good to go. You don't want to go crushing your blacks so that you bring them all the way down and you'll see the ugly sort of uh, luminance that goes on around here on his shirt. We don't want that. So we just just want to bring the blacks to just touch the line and as soon as the blacks touch the line you're good to go. Now if you look at what we've done at the moment you'll see that I'm going to be switching off and on the basic correction um, function of Lumetri Color so that you can see all the adjustments that I made, what it looks like, what the footage looks like before and after those adjustments. So if we look at um, our Lumetri panel here, we will switch it off and you'll have a very flat and very bland picture profile. Whereas we switch it on, you have a very balanced picture profile because your whites are touching the line, your blacks are touching the line, and you've raised your contrast so that it's spread out over the whole uh, Lumetri scope instead of just 
touching the bottom or touching the top or being cringed up in the center around about 60. So just by increasing the contrast already, you've moved your scopes to have a much more balanced picture profile. Now if we play this uh, piece back, we'll see that what it looks like with the color correction and what it looks like without the color correction and again what it looks like with the color correction and what it looks like without the color correction. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial. It was quick and simple and I hope that you can implement this on your footage before you go to the color grading to give your footage a very specific look, feel and temperature and emotion. So just fix your color first before you start doing your color grading and you will be good to go. Have fun and we'll see you in the next one.